द स्टोरी ऑफ इब्न बटिठा A long time ago there was a young man named Ibn Battuta. He was from Tangier, Morocco, a beautiful city in North Africa. Ibn Battuta opened the windows of his house and breathed the breeze of the sea with full of contentment. Mashallah, beautiful Tangier. But the world is so vast. Rasulullah has encouraged his people to travel and to gain as much knowledge for the first time ibn battuta left morocco he went to mecca to fulfill his hajj ibn battuta with other muslims of different races and background circled the kaaba a black cuboid located in the middle of masjidil haram after completing his hajj ibn battuta became more determined to explore the world. Hmm. The human is a very interesting creature. Inshallah, I want to be an explorer to see how people live around the world. And so Ibn Battuta began his exploration to various countries across the continents. He went to Iraq, Persia, Kenya, and India. Although Ibn Battuta loved gaining new knowledge by the day, life as an explorer was equally challenging. In India, Ibn Battuta was working while observing the villages when about with their daily routines. Suddenly, two pairs of eyes were piercing in the darkness. Without realizing Ibn Battuta was pulled into the bushes, his voice sounded faint, asking for help. A skinny, dark-skinned young man was picking up the rubbish using a long, sharp stick. He saw the bushes were shaking violently. He heard the sound of punching and weakening voice moaning in pain. What is that? A young man charged towards the bushes to save Ibn Battuta. Hey, Ani, Tambi, stop! The bandit tried to escape, but the brave young man managed to poke behind the bandit with his sharp stick. Ouch! They must have hurt him so bad. <laughs> the bandit screamed in pain and left his sword when he ran hurriedly. Don't mess with then me. Then the young man saw Ibn Battuta lying by the bushes, uh. unconsciously, with his clothes torn and his face bruised from being hit. Oh, help me! Uh. Ibn Battuta. Rested uh, on a mattress at the corner uh, of a small wooden house. Huh? He opened up his eyes uh, and saw the young man who uh, had saved him. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Welcome to my home. This is my wife. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallahu khair. My name is Ibn Battuta. I am an explorer. I would like to give you some gold as a token of gratitude, but. The bandit took my gold and my sword. You mean this sword? Masha Allah, I am destined to meet you. I need a brave and honest man. Would you like to be my crew on my ship? I am going to sail to many places. It will be my honor, sir. Alhamdulillah. From that moment on, the young man became part of the crew of Ibn Battuta's ship. On his captain's ship, the young man had the chance to explore other places in India, Maldives, and Sri Lanka. He also learned to sail and defend himself using a real sword. No more pokey pokey. I, Ibn Battuta, just surrender yourself. You won't be able to defeat me. Arr! Yeah! You know what? The pirate and Ibn Battuta struggled and fought with their swords. The young man picked up the bucket of soapy water and flushed it to the floor, forcing the pirate to fall to the ground and beaten by Ibn Battuta. He celebrated their glory. Good job, sir. You did it. <laughs>
One day, Ibnu Batuta was planning to sail to China. I have been in India for as long as I remember. You have helped me so much. I am very happy to be part of your crew. Therefore, come with me and explore China. That was the story of a great Muslim explorer, Ibnu Batuta. The end. Now let's go eat roti. Woohoo!